Hey, what's going on guys? This is Marcus, but you know me as a Nomad Thrifter. Hope you're doing okay today. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on the platforms eBay, Macari, and Poshmark. Um, if you are new and you do like the video, definitely hit the like, subscribe, and hopefully you get something from this video. So what this video is going to be, it's going to be a little bit different than my other videos. It's going to be an how-to. Um, a lot of you out there, you've seen how to clean the pre-owned pre shoes that you have purchased um, and you're getting ready for sale. Well, sometimes you find a pair of shoes that are just almost impossible to clean and that shoe ends up being really Adidas Boosts. So this right here, the Boosts, they're a sponge-like material, and this is the one that I actually did last night. I cleaned this last night um, as an experiment, and it turned out really, really well. Uh, as you can see from this one, if it actually even shows it well on the camera, this is the dirty one, and this is the one that we're going to be working with today. So with this Boost Nidsole, it's almost impossible to clean even with a magic eraser, soap and, uh, soap and a toothbrush. You just cannot get the gunk off there only because it like soaks into it. So I did some research. I found a couple forums um, that made some suggestions. And with you guys today, I am going to show you what I did to this shoe if you like it, you can use it, you know, with your own business. Uh, if you don't, then you don't. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, guys. So this project is pretty simple. The only thing that you need is some water, some Q-tips, some tape, and an oil-based uh, Sharpie. And actually, all the stuff you can get for relatively cheap. This marker I actually got off uh, Amazon for, I believe it was 5 or $6. Um, actually, yesterday I was at Joanne's uh, Fabrics or Joanne's Crafts. Um, and I saw this for three ninety nine, dollars so it's a little bit cheaper there. Q-tips, you can get a box of Q-tips at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, same with the tape. So the first thing that we need to do, or let me start over. The easiest way to do this, because I'm going to put this on fast forward, because uh, it'll take me a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tape. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover the rubber on the bottom, the bottom edges. And I'm going to cover um above the midsole as well just so we don't have any of this uh, any of the sharpie getting onto those it's it's fairly easy to get it off the rubber that's why we have the q-tips but it's a little more difficult getting it off this leather or the cloth so i am going to go ahead and put this on fast forward and you can watch me um, it's not hard at all I think once you, when you do watch it, you'll see how easy it is. It's a little time consuming, but I think if you have a pair of shoes that are worth reselling or worth a little bit of money, but need just a little tidying up, this is a perfect solution. So sit back, relax, and let's, uh, let's get these clean. All right, quickly guys, before I jump into it, I changed tape. So the other uh, tape that you saw was not the tape that I used last night. And I could not find that tape. Uh, so I'm going to use this tape, but any kind of packaging tape normally would work to your stuff, which is just not sticky enough. So. so I'm using this stuff, so hopefully it works better. All right, so now let's get going on the shoes.
All right, guys, that's it. As I said, it was pretty simple, uh, but I think that there's some amazing results here. I hope you found this useful. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon.